you had a glimpse inside my head, you'd know I'm different. So I have quite a lot of pears and they are starting to go off. There's some spots there that are a little bit gross and they're old. They need to be used. There's no way I'm going to be able to eat these all today, especially since I'm in the middle of an intermittent fast. So I love this kind of a task because I can take something that's old that really needs to be used and give it a new life, right? Hey friends, today I am feeling a little bit under the weather, but I still wanted to get a video out to you guys and I really need to use these pears up. And so I thought to myself that I would just do a really quick video and share what I'm going to do with the pears. And then I will see you guys back here again on Wednesday where I believe we're going to be doing tackling these gross floors, which I showed you in my video of last week. So let's go ahead and get these pears started up and I will tell you guys what I'm going to do with them. All right. I'm going to go ahead and cut off any parts of the pear that were punctured because I didn't get these pears when they were brand new and I'm not sure exactly what it was that punctured the pear then I'm gonna go ahead and cut off little bits like that because I got these pears when they were already a little bit old and they needed to be used up pretty quickly so anything that's got like a hole in it like you can see right here this has been punctured I don't really want to introduce any sort of bacteria into what I'm doing so I just, I'm just gonna go ahead and be safe and cut that off but like this it's, it's a bit bruised and you can tell it's older but I'm not gonna cut anything off of that pear because it's fine and it doesn't bother me just the puncture holes where there's a little bit of a break of the skin or if there were any mold I would, I'd cut that off as well or any rot, rotten bits but it's really mostly just really old bruised pears so I didn't really have to cut off a lot but any of holes anything like that I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off. All right, now that I've got all the bad spots off of the pears I'm going to use the Thermomix and I'm going to blend them in to a puree like if you were to make baby food i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to leave the skins on because it's just going to add more fiber to the fruit leather or the fruit roll up whatever you want to call it it's just going to add more fiber for my kids and for myself and so i'm here for the fiber i love the fiber i actually really enjoy eating pears because of the fiber i know that some people don't like that texture but i i love it so i'm going to go ahead and just core all of these pears and then we will blend them up and i'll go from there Whoa. All right, now that I've got the pears in there, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need, so I'm just gonna stop here. If I need more, I can always blend up some more, and I'm just gonna blend it in, and then we're going to put it on the sheet, which I'll show you in just a minute. The life that helps me thrive, I hope you're doing the same. So here's the sheet or the mat, whatever you want to call it, that came with the dehydrator. I'm going to go ahead and pour the puree straight onto there. Now we're spreading it out nice and evenly. I think I actually got poured it a little too high and a little too thick and I got it underneath the mat, but we'll wait and see. So right now I'm just spreading it nice and even and then we're just going to dry it. That's all there is to it. Truth is we all need to 
So that's the pills of the pears that I'm putting in right there. I wanted to not waste them, so I just stuck the pills in the dehydrator. So we've got full wedges of the pears in there, and then we've also got just pills. So in the pear wedges, I put some gluten-free flour from Bob's Red Mill, and I also put some cinnamon. I'm not gonna add any sugar into this part because these pears, as I was peeling them, the juice was just dripping through my fingers, so I'm gonna leave them as is. I'm not gonna wash out the Thermomix, as you saw there. I'm just gonna add some gluten-free oats, and then I'm gonna add in some more Bob's Red Mill gluten-free flour, and then just a little tiny bit of sugar into the crumble part. And then of course you have to have butter. So I'm gonna add in some butter and you can never have too much butter, right? So we're gonna add in two huge uh, spoonfuls of that and then just blend it all together until it's combined and stays together. But you can also break it apart. But if you were to try to make it into a ball, it would stay into a ball. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all over the top of the pears and it's pretty easy i'm sure everyone knows how to make a crumble you just evenly distribute it across the top and you're good to go this is going to be the ultimate test because i'm intermittent fasting right now and i can't eat any of this i don't know why i do this to myself i probably wouldn't if i didn't have to post a video today tomorrow i probably wouldn't make this pear crumble i probably just chuck everything in the freezer and deal with it later one of my number one reasons for doing YouTube is to show up more for myself. For some reason, having a deadline really, really inspires me and pushes me to show up for myself. And so I love the YouTube community because it, you know, I made a promise that I would post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so it makes me do things like pear crumble for my family, which I'm really happy about. Now, this is a deep dish pear crumble, and the top is a lot. I don't like crumble where there's not much of the yummy topping, so I like to do a big portion of the topping. Um, I'm gonna bake this and then I'll show you guys it at the end. But since this video is gonna be scheduled to be posted tomorrow morning, I know the pears in the dehydrator won't be done yet and so that's gonna be in the next video, but I will show you guys. I will make sure that I show you in the next video, so it'll probably be on Monday that I'll put that clip on a week from today. For you guys so I'm gonna get this pear crumble in I'll be back as soon as the crumbles done I'm laying upstairs editing and I can smell crumble pear crumble please don't be burnt oh, that's look at perfect. that looky looky I, love I wish I wasn't fasting today oh it smells so good Oh my gosh, I wish I wasn't fasting today. My stomach is going crazy. Nice. Um, All right, give me a minute and I'll let the kitty wings try it and let you guys know what it's like. Oh, I wish I wasn't fasting today. It does look good, doesn't it? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's hot, dude. Oh, dude. I had apple crumble at my um, sleepover. Oh, you're gonna want to try this, Mom. Yeah, I am. Yeah. That one's mm. like you're putting it. That one's mine. That one's mine. Give honest opinions. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Too sweet or sweet enough or what? It's perfect, Mom. You need to try this. Yeah. It's mm. killing me. I'm trying it. I'm trying a little bit. Just a little bite. It's for you too, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. And it's gluten free. The pears are still so juicy. Yeah. The pears are so juicy. Is that you said the parrots are so, so juicy. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. I don't even regret breaking my fast for that. Oh my gosh, that was so good to break my fast with. Yeah. I made it to about 20 more. hours. More? You want more? Mm. I made it to about 20 hours of fasting, so that's good. Mm. Yum. Yeah. Mm. 
Mine. Oh, it's mine now. All of this is mine. Mine. More. <laughs> guess that's enough that's it for this video i cannot stand my hair see this is what happens when i go to bed with wet hair i wake up in the morning and i and i look like hagrid you see it don't you well, that's it for this video i'm taking my hair down so i can lay down and go to sleep it's like five o'clock in the evening and i'm so done i just don't feel very good like my throat's starting to feel a bit weird and my nose is starting to feel a bit, feel a bit weird, and so I just want to try and sleep it off <clears throat> before tomorrow comes and the day gets crazy. So I really appreciate you guys coming to my video and spending time with me. I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends.